Hey guys, Captain JGB84, and with me for the 80th time, Printer 500. Put that down, it's got crap on it. Like, Born. actual crap or pornography? <laughs> I don't know what it's got. <laughs> it's a USB. Um, we're reviewing 30 minutes or less, and by god, this movie was stupid. Um, let me get down to you. Uh, remember how funny Zombieland was? Okay, take that and cut that in half eight times! That's how dumb this movie was! <sighs> okay, I overreacted. Sorry. Um, ben Stiller was a producer? Oh, that's interesting. But anyways, uh, 30 minutes or less. Just isn't funny. I'm sorry. I was laughing, but it was stupid and not as... Not it wasn't really... the best comedy, but there were... But the good part of the movie was, 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 that, was that they were showing, like, like tits. <laughs> yes, there's tits. Small tits. Look, it's not like even making a lot of money. Ah, uh, who cares. Uh, essentially, Jesse Eisenberg plays a pizza delivery guy, and he works at a pizza joint, but the thing 30 minutes or less, and the pizza's free, and he's a pretty bad driver by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah. but he gets his money from, from from offering teenagers to buy them beer, and he just buys beer for himself. And, yeah, his friend, uh, as is Ansari, who's this, like, Indian guy with a really high-pitched voice who likes to have a burger before he... Who is it? What are you eating, Max? He oh. also offers. He's also a man whore because he offers people blowjobs. Yeah. <laughs> but pretty much, these people. Su but pretty much, it's really ugly girls sucking uh, his dick. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, which. But but if it was a hot girl doing it, it'd be, it'd be everyone would want to do that. Well, hey, anyone I, who's a male. Hey, if Emma Stone was in this movie, that'd be so much better. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, Danny McBride and Nick Schwersden. I don't know. Uh, they're just two jackasses. Redneck jackasses. <laughs> Redneck jackasses, um, who are just millionaires, and um, they, they, uh, uh, Danny McBride wants to kill off his dad so he can inherit some more money. I'm like, you already spend like a few million dollars a day, just use that. They want to pay this guy $100,000 so they can kill him, so they can kill his dad. And it turns out they didn't have to pay anything. Yeah, that's funny. Um, so they, uh, they think, okay, we got to get someone to steal money for us at a bank. Um, so they call for a pizza and Jesse Eisberg shows up, then they kidnap him, strap a bomb to him, like, not, not like something like you tie it to yourself, it's like strapped down tight to him. Like, if he touches a wire, it'll boom. He's got ten hours to rob a bank, and they put a nice big jacket over him. I thought it was 12 hours. No, it's ten hours. Wait, does it say ten hours? Uh, here's how the assassin... Mmm... Uh, uh, to, uh to yeah, ten hours. Ten hours, yeah. Um, yeah, I was reading off Wikipedia. Max, you get away from there. Um, and uh, essentially, so he's so he gets his friend again, the really high pitched voice, who's his teacher, a substitute teacher. Yeah. The, this part was actually funny. Um, he goes to him and he says, "I have a bomb attached to my chest, and these two guys want me to rob a bank." I'm like, "So the first thing you thought was to come to a damn school? <laughs> the bunch of kids? The bunch of children running around you?" Idiot! Yeah, yeah, pr yeah, pretty much, um, Zika Har Harry's uh, performance in this movie yeah, was pretty really good. he's the best part. Him and Danny McBride are the best parts. Max, Danny McBride? Here. No, it was alright, but Zika right. Harry was the, um, was the main character. Right, right. Well, yeah, he was pretty much the main character in this movie. He, like, the last performance I seen him do was, was probably the 2009 MTV Movie Awards, or, or whichever movie, or it was, like, the 2010 one. But he he did like a really good job, job as being a host in this, and he was also a really good like comedian. Uh, Captain JJ eighty B is chasing is chasing his dog and his dog has a sock. Yeah. And he's failing at catching ah, it. Sack myself, you fucking idiot. He also sacked himself. If you it's got. Like, the... No, 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 no. Oh, the fucking on it. What the hell? Oh, that hurt. Uh, and for a little much. Uh, and for some reason, he uh, pulled out he pulled out a tripod onto his face. That's a bigger fail than. No, I banged into it and then it just fell on me. Jeez. Well, you can grab it and then you sort of touch it and then... Ah, jeez, this is one hell of a review, isn't it? Yeah, we'll, we'll probably cut this out, right? No, 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 it's too... People find it funny. Yeah, okay. Um, But yeah. getting back to the 
But game, but game with the film. So, so, so what they so they come up with like an elaborate plan to um to rob the bank by getting a getaway car and buying <laughs> buying stuff. At, they I buy think. fake guns, spray paint them, and then get a bunch of stupid looking masks. <laughs> um, so they rob the bank, but apparently all the money's fake. Yeah, but <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they rob the bank, and then if, and then the bank decide to um use fake bills. They're like if you hit, if you touch them they squirt blue paint in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you find out for the first, and they're like, Sandra, what the? Fuck? I'll be right back. Oh yeah, and the they, the woman throws the gun and it shoots. Yeah, the gun. pretty much the bank robbery is probably the funniest part of the movie because because they're it's like amateur bankers. They're like putting up a story about how that they were in Mexico, in such and such. Such, but then the after but then the after that part of the movie it starts to die out of hilarity because it's sort of like okay okay so when's the movie gonna end they got they they robbed the bank they have the money what's going to happen next so pretty much finish the movie it's just like they're just trying to drop off the they're trying to drop off the cat they're trying to drop off the cash but but stuff happens the the assassin he's all like yo I need my money. He's like, and oh, he's, like, he's like, give me the code. He's like, what code are you talking about? I have a bomb. I'll shoot you in the head. Then it won't do anything. Look out! Okay. Um. God, I'm not in this review, aren't I? <laughs> uh, start talking. I'm gonna go look up porn. I mean, I mean, talk about Zombie Land. No, no, I mean World War Z, the better, which inspired Zombie Land. Yeah, that was porn, it, I might add. <laughs> what? Zo War World War Z? Oh, it doesn't. Zombie yeah. Land does, because there's the strippers. What strippers? Unless you mean Emma Stone. <laughs> okay. Oh, the film. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Um, but let's be um brief here, people. The movie just isn't like it's not it's not very well written, and um. The ending was dead. The ending was stupid, but it was funny when um the bomb goes off to show the timer. Yeah, he gets the bomb off, and here's the code. Here's the code. 69, 69, 69. My favorite sex position. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I can't have figured that out days ago. Hours ago. And then apparently it is, and he's really sweaty wearing it, but... Fair enough, he's wearing like a big overcoat. It's also really short. It's only like an hour and 20 minutes. But I just don't think it's that funny. It was just the ending which died out. The beginning was really funny. Maybe, yeah, the... Start at the beginning and the middle ain't bad, but it's just it's it just doesn't have the same humor as Zombie Land did. Zombie Land, like the thing that made Zombie Land good was a Woody Harrelson just being fucking Woody Harrelson. Um, Max, you get away from there. Hey, no, I don't like him when he's there. Um, but um, if you want to go see it, you'll have a laugh. Man. Ow! Jeez! What? He bit me when I was trying to grab his collar. Ow. Well, it's been an interesting review. Um, it's not as funny as Zombie Land, or as good for that matter. But you'll get a kick out of Jesse Eisenberg being Jesse Eisenberg. Um, with that, I have to give it a six, because I did enjoy it. Ryan? Six. Yep, okay, six it is. Um,. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. My hand is now bleeding, which is or cuts on it. It hurts. <laughs> if probably she goes to the doctor. He doesn't have rabies. So you can get that infected. Wash my hand off. Yeah, as we just reviewed Contagion. Yeah. Uh, I'll put this up before Contagion though, just to be chronologically correct. Yeah, the, yeah. If there's gonna, be, I don't know if you do annotations, but watch the Contagion review. Yeah, watch Contagion. You'll, yeah. It'll, but you should probably go see the movie first and then watch a review so you can like, so you can comment better. Or unless you're me, I watch all, or I read and watch reviews, then watch the movie. Yeah, which is retarded. You should just go see the movie. Shut I, up. Hey, I do. Hey, I, I did that for Hey Montana. You wanna know what? It sucks. I paid ten dollars to see that movie. Oh wait, you paid for the ticket. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I saw it with your sister, man. Hey, I had a thing for her back then. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna have to cut this review short. Uh, hey, see the I, movie. You yeah. may like it. Yeah, can you cut my part out because I don't want to mention I saw Hey Montana. Do that. Or my sister. Bye. Fuck.